Hey everybody, it is me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to the adventures of Lucy Vagina. As we look at the early polls, we've still got weeks to go. We're on week 35 of 41. Right now, if the election were to happen today, the polls predict that we would win by a fair amount, but I don't think that would happen because polls tend to not always be correct. And we do have a problem that we're starting to run out of money. So we're going to be cheap a little bit. Lucy's going to give a few speeches in the meantime. Um, we're going to give a speech here in Ohio about student loan reform. No, reducing unemployment. No, deficit reduction. We're going to say Donald Trump opposes deficit reduction. She'll be like, come on all, like, let's get together. Like, you can't trust Donald Trump on deficit reduction. Because, like, he declared bankrupt so he could avoid paying bills because he spent too much. People did not like her negative speech. Maybe that's the key. Get positive speeches. All right, you dumbasses. I want to reduce the deficit. All right, fuck y'all. <laughs> Maybe she shouldn't give speeches. Maybe she's just really bad at speeches. Is that what I wanted? How do I look at her? Her charisma is super high. I don't know why she's so bad at speeches. Oh well. Lesson learned. Every time she talks, it gets things makes things worse for the campaign. The campaign's like, oh my god, will she please shut up? Uh, do we need... No. I was hoping we'd have some points for more special interest operatives, but we don't. Opponent... Uh, opponent L named Smear campaign can't hold Trump down. After being the target of a negative advertisement campaign by Trump in Florida, aspiring President Donald Trump has taken a stand to clarify his views. I think they mean by Vagina. This week, a set of ads by Trump attempted to defend his position on supporting Israel. It's really sick. One of Trump's aides told reporters earlier in the week that a hard-loving, hard-working, dedicated, and patriotic citizen like our candidate, who loves puppies, may I add, has to be defending slime like Trump. Uh, defending slime like Trump, who take any cheap shot they can get away. It's simply disgusting. I think they meant, like, vagina. Calling us a slimy vagina, I mean. Oh, well, so far Florida still likes us. Ooh, and Ohio likes us more. Good deal. Um, we're going to raise some more money while we're here in New York. And then, oh man, there's a question mark there. One of her pet projects, one of her pet issues, it's not a project, it's an issue, is Black Lives Matter. And that's something here that Elizabeth Warren is like, that's what people really care about here in Missouri. And so, Pope presidential candidate will be, look, it's me, everybody. She's going to create an ad saying that she favors a TV ad. She's going to be bold and be on national television to say she supports Black Lives Matter. Ooh, that helped her in Maryland. Might not help her in certain parts of the country, but she went for it. Rich donor, hoping to make this land a better, a land of better opportunity. Ugh. Make this land of opportunity a better place for all, and at least themselves. An anonymous rich donor has donated some fat loot to Lucy Vagina's campaign. A million bones? Fuck yes. What do we spend it on? Hmm. I would love to get some more of these guys. But we're going to spend it on... Oops, that's the wrong button. At a campaign get-together with like three Kansas farmers there. Oops. Where the hell's Trump? Oh, he's in a... North Carolina campaigning. Uh, we've done so much campaigning, we got an extra stamina point. So we're going to build a headquarters here, campaign headquarters. As a retirement guru withdraws from the election campaign. Oh, God, butts. We're going to go here, and we're going to build a consulting office. And then I want to upgrade that. Try and get us some more points for more candidates. We need another uh, advertising guru. How much is that? 18. Oh, we don't have enough. Trump keeps get, getting rid of them, trying to run our expenses up more. What a dillweed. All right, there is a TV opportunity. 
right next door in uh, Wisconsin. Oh, he did good in his TV one. What is it? 60 seconds? Well, first of all, let us hire the new advertising guru. And then we're going to move him to Ohio. And, uh, fuck. All right, we're going to go. She's better on TV than the speeches. She's horrible in speeches. Tonight, a special report on the dangers of the internet. Are you one of millions of Americans who are arguing on message boards too seriously? Why aren't you watching porn like me, Leslie Danger? We'll have more on that story and more tonight in 60 seconds. Obamacare has been contentious ever since it was introduced. What's your stance on healthcare reform? This is where she needs a nuanced answer or she's going to kill her campaign. Free limbs for everybody? No healthcare? I'm in fair... We're not going to say anything about Obamacare. Healthcare should be, like, free, as should limbs. People need to be healthy and have many extra limbs to deal with the hellscape that our future will be. Like, Spider-Man will rule the norms. And I want every American to have an equal opportunity to become one of those Spider-Men. What have you been smoking? People did not like that. The United States spends vast amounts of money on its military. Can we afford to continue this? Uh... We're going to say we need to defend ourselves from Canada? No, she's going to be like, the military uh, might of the United States is the best way to ensure global peace and prosperity. The threat of international terrorism is as strong as like ever, dudes. And we'd be fools to ask our troops to fight them with anything but the best equipment. So yes, we need a strong military, and I like strong military boys to ensure our security and place in the world. And because I like them doesn't mean I won't boss them around, because I'll be the boss. President Pope's. That's all tonight. Oh, man. That was horrible. Join us next week when we explore the hazards of touchscreen video games. Is all that flickering and poking endangering the nation's moral health? Man, she did not do well. She bombed. They wonder about the sanity of Vagina. God, that was not good. Elizabeth Warren is going to be like, what the fuck did you do? Oh, another spin doctor. Not these spin doctors. We're going to go down to Texas. Do some fundraising. Come on, we need to get to a million dollars so we can upgrade that place. Because we need more special interest points. Because slowly you can see these guys in red. Here's a smear merchant writing bad things about us, hurting us by a negative 15% in Utah. Um, another smear merchant. Trump's like, I'm not afraid to play dirty. It's the worst Trump impression ever. Man, he's giving, he's good at speeches, apparently. Way better than Lucy is. Oh, man, there's a definer there. All right, Lucy, let's build the HQ upgrade. It's just another one of these political doobly dudes. Uh, where do we want to send him? We're going to send him to... Tennessee. No. Actually, we should send him out here. The New Hampshire, uh, Vermont area. Where do we go? We could do some more ads in Illinois. We could use some in Michigan. What, what are big issues? Deficit reduction continues to be a big issue around the area. We'll go to Illinois. Some fundraising. I want to have her do more speeches, but people always boo her. <laughs> oh, man, we're gaining some more traction over there, too. Oh, shit. We're almost out of time. All right, so we're going to create an ad. We want something that is very popular. Probably that we haven't worked on before. She's already done the Wall Street regulation ones. Fixing the infrastructure. We're going to do a negative one. About how uh, Donald Trump doesn't want the roads fixed. He doesn't want the roads fixed because he has a flying like helicopter man. To carry him? 
I might have made that up. I don't know. Oh, I should have done an environmental one. Oh, we can. Let's do an environmental one, too. If we can find one. Yeah. She's like, I like favor the environment and stuff. I want to hug all the trees. Because I like wood. If you know what I mean. So we'll do that. Wow, people in Illinois like her because of that. Definitely, you can see... Oh, man, all these places that are really fucking close. I want to have her give a speech, but she's so bad at speeches. We go to... Oh. Apparently, we don't have enough money to fly to Michigan. Now we do. We're going to create a local ad. Probably on deficit reduction. Ooh, we are close locally on deficit reduction. How about nationally? No, we're still way behind on that. That's all right. We'll create a local ad saying, you know, like, I want to balance the budget and shit, bitches. Oh, next time I want to go to Pennsylvania. Oh, that might be the last of it, though. Well, let's hire some operatives. Let's get a smear merchant to say bad things. No, wait, no, let's get a fixer. He'll get rid of somebody. And we can't afford anybody else. So who do we want to get rid of? Nobody in Ohio. Maybe I should have looked at that before I did. Did he actually go to Hawaii to start an advertising campaign? He did. I did not expect that. Maybe things will go opposite and the Republicans will get Hawaii and the Democrats will get Alaska. I don't know. We're not quite in the lead in Alaska, though. Well, we're so late into the game, I'm not worried about his money guy. I guess we'll go after one of the schmear merchants. No, we don't have a chance there. Oh, fuck it. We'll go after that one. That's just vengeance. Get the fuck out of here. Schmear merchant withdraws from the election. Elizabeth Warren, tell me you've done enough to help us. Oh, I should have got rid of that spin doctor. Forgot about him. Weekly news wrap-up. Trump uses consulting office in Colorado to try and increase political capital. An attempt to wall Democrat voters in Colorado. Donald Trump started construction. I lost my place of a new consulting office this past week. Bystanders gawking, gawk, gawk, at the blueprints and tools littering around the area around the structures were all eager to discuss at length how pointless and mundane Trump's operations seemed to be. One volunteer was laughing hysterically <laughs> at the su how superior state's Democrat consulting office seemed to be in compared to Trump's unfinished structure. See, our stuff in Colorado's better. Do we have anything in Colorado? Trump stands firm amidst the mockery by Colorado's Democrat voters in his opinion that his new structure is necessary to fortify his stream of political capital in the state. The race draws to a close with Lucy Vagina and Donald Trump starting to feel the burn of 41 weeks. The two candidates are forced to push for one more week of last minute vote grabbing. Hands will be shaken. Babies will be kissed. Promises will be made. But will it all capture enough votes to bring home the presidency? We'll know in a week. So if we look at the map right now, so much of the map is purple, there's no way to know which way it'll go. Like, the polls were in the lead with the popular vote, definitely in the lead with the popular vote, definitely in the lead with the electoral college vote. This is the way the pundits say the states will go, but they easily could not. So I definitely want to hire um, another fixer. Wait, how, much, how many points do we have? 29? All right, we'll get one more fixer. And I'm going to use him on the spin doctor there. Spin doctor leaves. I blackmail on that bitch. I would love to have her give some speeches, but she every time she opens her mouth, people do not like that. They're like, yeah, it'd be better if you shut the fuck up. Okay, we have a slight lead in Michigan. Slight lead. We're ahead on the deficit reduction. Oh, man. I want to... You know what? We're going to go to Pennsylvania. So we really need it. We're going to fundraise. Oh, shit. That wasn't enough. 
Fuck it, we'll do it one more time. Do one last great national speech about how she wants to reduce the deficit. Or add, I should say. Oh, we still have a little money. What is a pet local issue? Student loan reform. We'll just do a local one about that. Because that is something she really cares about, student loan reform. Like, y'all, bitches. And that's it. That'll be the last turn. This is the map where it stands right now. Alaska, Hawaii, too close to even call right now. As are all these purple states. Man. I don't think we can move anybody else yet. I just hope we can pull off enough of these states. Well, here goes nothing. Where is Donald? There's Lucy in the midst of all her stuff. We're looking strong in Ohio, though. In fact, let's let's get a projection. What's the bare minimum we need? Wow, we... So if we get rid of, like, these... Oh, we could still do it, but it's tight. We've got to win those big ones. That does not bode well. I think we got a good shot, though. It could also be a thing where we win the popular vote and get lose the electoral college vote, which has happened to me um, and when I played the 2008 version. Well, everybody, I want you all to vote your hardest, vote often, and vote President Pope Lucy Vagina, because I'm the best candidate there is, woman power, and Elizabeth Warren agrees, and Donald Trump is sexist and rude and racist. Um, President Pope forever. That was their last address. Oh, God. Let's see what happens. I wish this hap part, the next part that happens happens slower. They go through a little quickly. It's time for election night. Yes! Yes! Come on, all turn blue. Oh, fuck. We had three people there. Come on, we gotta pick up some of the South. We did get Virginia. Florida, hell yeah! You see the bottom where it votes are? Yes, Michigan came our way. We needed that. Obviously, we're not going to pick up Texas. Yeah, Minnesota! We're doing pretty good. If we get California, we have it. We've gonna, we're going to win this election. Oh, and we're winning Western states. Boom, clearing the whole West Coast. Yes! Suck on that, Donald Trump. Look how sad you look. Look at all those achievements. Home court denial, meaning we won the guy's home state. Vagina wins! Elizabeth Warren is like, yes, we won. And Virginia's like, hell yeah, number two pencil, my ass, number one pencil, because I'm the number one winner. Thanks, Elizabeth Warren, for helping. Virginia comes out on top in the race for the White House. Sometimes I like to be on top of America and freedom. Virginia has won the day in the presidency with a strong showing in both the popular vote and the electoral college. I'll admit, doing um, a challenging version of this game, I didn't know if it would work or not. Uh... Donald Trump obviously had a lot of money. I don't know that he was charismatic enough, though. Our mascot donkey looks so tired. He looks like he wants to end his life. He's like, that was a long campaign. One of the deciding factors in Virginia's victory was her use. I hope they fix that when they get out of early access. Of political capital, which she used more extensively than Trump. Virginia spent more money than Trump. Money may not buy you love, but it can apparently buy you votes. Did she really get that much of the popular vote? Yeah, hop, hop, hop. Let's look at the exit polls again. Yeah, she had almost 100 million votes. Way more votes than uh, Donald Trump. 11 million more almost. Well, it's like 10 and a half. And uh, over 132 more electoral college votes. I think these numbers here might not be accurate because he got a lot of endorsements, which you have to pay for with PR. And they didn't show those numbers up right away. Um, apparently she spent a lot more money. But she spent her whole time... She had to. Every time she gave a speech, people booed. She's like, I think things and stuff. And they're like, boo, you suck. I'll be. Sh I'll shut up. They're like, yeah, we'll vote for you. <laughs> uh, she kept basically... Didn't say much about Obamacare. Didn't say much about tax cuts. A little bit about military stuff. Luckily, she rebounded from that thing in Florida, too. Deficit reduction. She made up a lot of ground. Not enough to win the issue, but to make up enough to make a difference. Won the issue on reducing unemployment. If you look, the top four issues here, all of these 
she lost the issue on. In fact, number six, too. But she still managed to cobble enough together. Thanks for helping, Elizabeth Warren. So if we look at the map... Oh, we didn't get Missouri. What the fuck, Elizabeth Warren? Way to fail. I like that. We had someone here, we didn't get it. No one here, we did get it. Totally took the Northeast. Entire Northeast. Good section of the Midwest here, except for Indiana, which is always more conservative. Obviously, the West Coast is easy for Democrats. I don't know why we picked up this little section here, but I'll take Colorado and New Mexico any day. And Florida. Florida, remember that horrible speech and how much they hated her. And she came back and won it all. Man, that was a hell of a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. She did good with independents. Good with Democrats. This is where I'll leave off. I do hope next year at some point closer to the real election to do one with our Charles character. But until then, Vegeta is the first female president of the United States of America. Hip hip hooray and shit. Now we can protect babies from guns and go hug some trees. Come on, Elizabeth. This is like a portable tree. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in whatever my next LP is.